loves welcome back to my channel it's Julia if you guys are not already subscribed please pause the video subscribe and then continue watching you know I would subscribe because first of all it's for free not many things are free and if you guys like the type of videos that I'm making then subscribe in today's video I'm going to be doing a QA. and a I'm super excited to be answering some of these questions because a lot of them I have been seeing on Instagram on Twitter on my snapchat just a whole bunch of places so I pretty much just wanted to come on here and answer some of the things that you guys are probably wondering I'm going to be holding this notebook probably like the whole time before I get any questions where this notebook's from it's from Marshall's it's a marble notebook like what it's so cute I have the questions right here I wrote them out because I just felt like that was appropriate. I felt like it was a good sit down to just answer the questions and write them down and not have to relate to my phone. So the first question is, what is one thing you are looking forward to? One thing that I'm looking forward to in the future is definitely success. Who isn't looking for success? It's just like being successful and I really, really want to be successful in YouTube and just in like my mindset, how I'm feeling. I just want to have a successful life. I want to have a nice family. I want to have a nice job. I just want to be successful. Q and Drake. I just wanna be, I just wanna be successful. Dab. That wasn't even real dab. So the second question is, what are your favorite songs at the moment? You guys know that usually I don't talk about songs. I usually link them down below or I usually put them in a SoundCloud or whatever, but I really like Redbone by Childish Gambino. I really like Mask Off by Future. Ariana Grande, Dangerous Woman album is so good and like I don't like Ariana Grande don't get me wrong I don't like her but her music is really good every day is my favorite song I know it's like probably the most basic but it's a really good song if you had to tell your past self something what would it be so in other words like me right now what would I tell myself in the past I would probably tell myself that you'll be okay I would say you'll be okay just because I feel like that's such a comforting thing to tell someone that they'll be okay when they feel like they're not okay is such like a good thing to say and I, I just would tell myself that everything's gonna be okay and that you're not given more than you can handle and eventually something good will happen to you and you know things happen for a reason and sometimes good you know bad things happen but it's for a reason even if we don't know it at the time being um, I would tell myself to just brush other people off. Don't worry about what other people think um, because you're most important at the end of the day and the people that you, you know, are scared of or that you're, you know, you, you envy are not going to matter in the future. They're not going to matter to you. You're going to be so much more in depth with yourself and you're going to be in such a better place without these people. So just don't think about it. What do I think about dating someone much older? I'm assuming that they asked me this question because my boyfriend is a lot older than me. But what I will say is that he's older than me. It's not like Hugh Hefner and whatever. But we do have a significant amount of time that we are apart in age. Pretty much what I will say is that just don't date someone that, I mean, do whatever you want. Just try not to date someone that is in a different place. Date someone with the same mentality as you, someone who's in the same place as you. My boyfriend and I are just, we're in the same place. I'm younger than him, but we're in the same place. We have the same mindset. We have the same goals. We have the same, you know, so it just works out. It falls into place because he's not so much more ahead of me, even though his age is. We we'll still have to grow as people and we still have to mature as people. If you love someone, it shouldn't matter. That's my opinion. I know a lot of people don't feel that way and they'll take that very rudely. But if you love someone, be with them because at the end of the day, life is so short. My favorite show at the moment, my favorite show at the moment is Grey's Anatomy. I love Grey's Anatomy. It's so good. Who is your old celeb crush? Justin Bieber is mine. I like Justin Bieber. I like Drake. So probably like Justin Bieber or Drake. Number seven is what is something that most people don't know about you? Most people don't know about me. I actually wanted to be a writer at one point. I am really good at writing. I like writing. Number eight is secret obsessions. I think the only like secret obsession that I have, which is not really a secret, but Instagram themes. Like I literally on the highest level am obsessed with Instagram themes. I feeds I always look at other people's feeds I always make sure mine is up to par like I'm obsessed and it's really not healthy but I love Instagram themes I just love it I love how it flows I'm really like OCD about it and it's just it's 
the best thing ever. Next question is who are your favorite YouTubers? Recently, I've been loving a ton of vloggers. My favorite would have to be Bramty, Bramty Juliet, and um, Lewis and Penelope. I love them. I always wait for their videos. I love OK Baby. I love family vloggers. Like right now, my thing is family vlogs, and I just love them. I just think they're so cute and like precious and like honestly goals like one day I'm gonna be a family vlogger like my boyfriend doesn't know it yet but we're gonna be a family vlogger what is your opinion on the wet and wild photo foundation um I love it I actually just did a review on the Marc Jacobs one and I said that it's the wet wild one is better than this one and it's five dollars and this one's 55 so I love it I would tell everyone to buy it because it's really 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 amazing question number 11 is how do you glow up Honestly, there's no reason like how you glow up. Some people say that they glow up when they do their hair. Some people say they glow up when they do their eyebrows wax. Some people say they glow up when they do their makeup. Question was Spotify or SoundCloud. And I've been loving Spotify right now, but SoundCloud is like my ride or die. The next question is, did you enjoy being vegan? And I knew that this question was going to come up because I have not even established this. Um, but pretty much in the summer I went vegan for two months. Did I enjoy it? Um, I just didn't see what I wanted to see. I went vegan because I had stomach problems prior and I thought that it would help me a lot with my problems and I just did not see those changes. It didn't help me in a sense. Um, it wasn't making the changes that other people said it would. It was really affecting me more. My skin was breaking out more, which is really odd. And I know it was just like people say, oh, what's a detox? Like, it's going to get bad before it gets good. But I was vegan for two months and my skin wasn't any better. Some of the problems were not decreasing. Um, and then I all in all had to stop eating vegan because of my medical issues and because I went to a gastroenterologist and I did have a lot of medical issues, which did prevent me from being vegan because I wasn't getting the nutrients that I needed. I wasn't getting the things that I needed in order to be vegan and it just wasn't a healthy option for me. It just wasn't right for me. I know it's a lot of, it's right for a lot of people. I know my sister still tries to be vegan a lot of the times and sometimes I'll go through phases where I just try to eat vegan but it's not like it's helping me if that makes a sense. So I kind of enjoyed it. I thought it was a change but I just couldn't do it anymore and the last question is how has anxiety affected your romantic or romance slash relationships as a girl who is very open now to having anxiety I feel like a lot of people ask me more questions now because they know that I'm not going to like judge them it's very familiar it's out in the open but it really does affect your relationship as long as you don't you don't think it does. But for me, my boyfriend and I both have anxiety, so it's like double clashing. So a lot of the times when we get into fights, when it's stressful or it's heated, sometimes we don't know how to step away. Um, for me, I'm a very push off kind of person. If I'm stressed, I'll just try not to even like think about it or acknowledge it. And my boyfriend is very head on. When he's anxious or whatever, he needs to address the problem. He needs to fix it or else it's really 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 going to eat at him and bother him so for being in a relationship with both partners have anxiety it is very difficult um doesn't mean we don't love each other no we obviously both have stress we've tried working together in order to work on that and definitely it's just not good for a relationship but a lot of people have anxiety so it's even harder when both do but we still make it work and you know there have been times where I'm you know on edge where I'm seeming a little bratty or moody just because of the stress where you know I'll freak out about things and I feel like that's not fair to do to your partner but it's kind of easier um, because the partner understands where we're coming from because my boyfriend understands that I'm stressed out and that the anxiety inside of me is making me act a certain way so it does affect my relationship. It has affected my relationships in the past. Um, but in the current one I'm in right now, it's kind of okay because we kind of understand 
where the other person is coming from as to someone who doesn't probably wouldn't put up with me to be honest with you so thank you guys for watching i am so happy that i got to film this video just to kind of like a cute little sit down talking to you guys answering some questions that you guys have had um if you guys have any other questions just leave them down below i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope i answered some of your questions and if you guys like this video please give it a thumbs up even if you didn't give it a thumbs up and please subscribe for more videos from me and until next time loves 